Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna make a clock using pen and scratch. So first of all, you'll need to uh, get a pen extension. So just click on this and then pen, and just make a block called render clock or whatever. And just do one of the click forever render clock, and then do all of this colors, which we're gonna do right now. So first of all, just do erase all um, to like erase all, and then just basically reset this whole thing, and then also draw the render the background, and then um, do set the pen color to black and size to 15 and this is just going to draw the circle so if we do it now you'll see it's just um, this sort of a circle and um, there's a line uh, going like there so we can do just pen down and pen up after this pen down so there's no line there um, but now we need to do pen down after this so after this so now you'll see that you got a circle. So this the this next bit of code will just like draw the render clock face like that. And this next bit of code will just uh, uh render dot in the middle because you know that thing, I don't know. So this next bit of code will draw the I don't know what they're called, but it's like going you know, like that and that, that, that. Um, like this, and then just add this bit, which will draw the thinner lines in between these. So now you can see, and you got all the things. Now you all, uh, all you have to do now is just do the code to render the clock hands. So this is for uh, the second hand. So there's three hundred degrees in a circle, and there's sixty seconds in a minute, and um. 360 divided by 60 is 6, so yeah, I don't really know how to explain that, but this is the code, okay? <laughs> and it's very similar with the minute one, so yeah. And for the hour, it's a bit different because um, every 24 hours it actually does two circles, so it's different, you know? And this is actually all the all the code that you need. Uh, it's actually quite big, but you know, it's just a big chunk of code. And if you want to add sound, some sounds, make a variable. Uh, I just yeah, I just made a random variable. Let's just do that. Then, at the start of the project, set that variable to current second. Then just do forever. If um, the variable isn't equal to current second. Just do a uh, stop play a ticking sound. I don't know if you can hear that. And then set the variable to the current second. So I don't know if you can hear the ticking, but it works really well. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Tick, 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 bye.